hey everyone welcome to my video in the last video I made a, a modeling of belt now I'm going to uh, model of a pulley with the same uh, dimensions the same specifications uh, let's start then we are opening a new part and here we draw a circle and the first thing that we are going to do finding the pitch diameter this uh, pulley will be uh, 15 foot that's why 360 by 15 and our pitch is 12.7 this is our pitch uh, diameter now we are going to uh, draw here our uh, profile if you watch the video the last video you are going to see that the wideness of uh, the tooth in the bottom uh, 6.21 and the hideness was 2.29 and of course this will be in the middle of our height in the pitch diameter here 229 divided by 2 and the angle between 2 was 40 degree if you uh, notice everything is fully defined and everything is black now we go continue to create our model our outer diameter will be here because the belt based on this diameter automatically with sketch you can uh, find these uh, values there can be some little uh, differences between the original uh, ones because of the production they are adding some extra additional uh, dimensions for free space gap for example now I'm going to make one this is our other dimensions we said and then we just go create a 30 mm wide uh, belt this is our outer diameter and 30 mm and then now I'm going to take here my tool profile I make it a little bit uh, longer it, it out and here also a little bit extend the sketch and I will give here 0 0.15 millimeter free space uh, sorry parallel 0 0.15 yes this is uh, ready and we can just here also make a circular sketch pattern in the point 15 time and cut a uh, finishing sketch and cut the extrude the profile is uh, ready now we just go create filleting yes we automatically select everything and radius was 1.02 millimeter and sorry now we are going to create some side uh, flanges they are using for keep the belt in the it is original position 57 and we just go cut one and a half millimeter flip side to cut we cut we keep inner area and cut out front plane and with mirror I just select the surface that we cut my program automatically of the copies the same to our side here I have a hub which is 45 millimeter diameter and 15 millimeter long this also uh, fine and now I'll just go create here a 25 millimeter 
diameter and we cut through all and we just choose chamfer and one millimeter chamfer will be everywhere and I'm going to add now side flanges right plane here is sketch we choose our point and sorry here we have automatic relation make parallel make parallel here we add extra perpendicular this two will be echo one and a half automatically this is going to be 5 mm height this is going to be 4.5 mm height and the angle here 155 degree in the center I have a construction geometry and for mirroring the same uh, profile I have a vertical uh, construction geometry and I choose everything and mirror the other side and we select revolve and choose our uh, this uh, construction line where axis of re revolution and we finish it now I'm going to add uh, connection holes fixing holes in fact there will be a two time metric metric 5 metric 6 sorry 8 mm away from front surface and the diameter is 5 for metric 6 it's the whole diameter we could also create it this whole wizard but uh, I just didn't want to make it now this is our connection hole and we can one more time uh, create that hole by circular pattern just to as you see we automatically mirror them and create on, on them some chamfer yes the model is ready after this point you can give color and other options you can change the connection type thank you for watching